looks like those plow drivers yeah. have really been out there doing their and jobs We appreciate this all their work because I know yeah. they're working double time. We heard uh, in Ottawa County there's like 47 drivers out there trying to keep roads safe, Kevin. So what are we dealing with, though, in the wide scheme of things in West Michigan? Well, let's break everything down so people know what to expect. First of all, our entire area still under winter storm warnings. The storm is not finished yet, and you're going to understand why when we go through the timeline breakdown. Good morning, everybody. Today we're talking snow, probably another one to three three inches on top of the six to nine inches we've already had across the area. So that'll bring us up to about 10 to 12 inches across a lot of the area. Northwest winds today at 15 to 25 miles per hour could still gust to 40, 45. Difficult travel. As we look into this evening and the overnight hours, Arctic air is going to arrive. You see that starts to ignite the lake effect snow. Overnight uh, tonight, three to six inches likely, uh, especially along and west of US 131. And then as we get into the day tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday, Arctic air is in place. Temperatures will be in the teens. Lake effect snow is likely another one to three inches tomorrow, especially along and west of US 131. Wind chills tomorrow are going to be running uh, below zero. And if you're along and south of the I-94 corridor tomorrow, your wind chills are going to be running at about 15 to 25 degrees below zero because there's be no warming effect from Lake Michigan that far south. Monday, Arctic air still in place. Lake effect snow, additional accumulations along with the steadiest or heaviest west of US 131. We still have snow falling across a lot of our area, and it's these locations where you see the darker embedded bands of blue or purple here, especially across uh, southeastern portions of New Ego County, Mocosta County there, into uh, Muskegon County, Ottawa County, Kent County, and there's a pretty good band going into Berrien County right now, and of course, Berry County along and south of the Hastings area. That's snow that's coming down at a pretty good clip. Probably some of those snowfall rates in there, anywhere from a half inch to an inch per hour. So, yeah. Yes, uh, there is still snow that's going to fall across the area today, and some of that's going to be enhanced by Lake Michigan. But the true lake effect snow will kick in as we go into the evening and the overnight hours. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 20s to around the 30 degree mark. We were 33 earlier this morning in Grand Rapids. We probably won't get back there. We'll fall into the upper 20s and stay there. As we look at visibility, some of these are reduced under a mile. That kind of gives us a pretty good idea where the snow is falling the hardest. We have that in Benton Harbor in Kalamazoo, a half mile visibility right now in Muskegon. Uh, let's look at clouds and radar moving over the last several hours. There was a brief lull through part of us for the overnight hours, but as that row, that low rather, lo rotates out of here, this is going to rotate around through the area, and there's some lake enhancement going on, I think, because we have a north to northwesterly to eventually westerly winds today. Uh, cloudy, windy, snow is likely an additional one to three inches across the area uh, with uh, a west-northwest wind at about 15 to 25 miles per hour, but some gusts still up around 40 or 45 possible. There's the the storm system. We kicked that out of here, but this starts to transition to a lake effect event as we get into the evening and the overnight hours with that colder Arctic air. Look at that, what, that the snow just pouring off of Lake Michigan, especially for areas along and west of US 131. And windy conditions still stay in play for both today and tomorrow. As you look at the upper level pattern, all the colors on this map represent the air masses. So the coldest air masses, this is the Arctic air air out here. These purples, these pinks, these magentas. This is at 6 a.m. this morning. The Arctic air is not in place yet, but that's going to be part two of this system. As the system moves off, look at the Arctic air. Just penetrate all the way into the Great Lakes, the Midwest, uh, and that's what's going to really ignite our lake effect snowmaking machine as we go into this evening, overnight, and into tomorrow. Some of that Arctic air will get pretty far south into the southern plains and almost to the Gulf Coast states, but the Arctic air is going to stay in play for us through most of this upcoming next week. Now there's another component to that as we look at the Arctic air that's going to stay in place for this week. We want to look at also the wind chill factors, what it's going to feel like today, probably about five to 10 degrees above zero through the day today because the Arctic air isn't in place. Watch the time clock here as we go through the overnight hours and the Arctic air comes in. Places along and south of the I-94 corridor are probably going to be in the neighborhood about a 15 to 25 degrees below zero. All of us will be below zero tomorrow with the feels like temperatures. So we're uh, in the uh, upper 20s, lower 30s today, and then that Arctic air arrives for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. There's still several more inches of snow to come for today, tonight, tomorrow, and into Monday, especially for areas along and west of US 131. That's our forecast. It's 621.